Often described as the world's most beautiful street, the Champs-Élysées in Paris looks more like a war zone as riot police attempt to restore order. Earlier in the day, protesters ran riot on the famed avenue, leaving it covered with burning debris, tear gas. Paris铁塔附近的战神广场是抗议活动的主要集合地。警察用烟雾弹和水枪试图驱散示威者，最终部分示威者和警察发生肢体冲突。As we've seen all over France in the last few days, in those distinctive yellow high-vis jackets, French law requires you, if you are in a vehicle, to carry one of those. Gas prices was the beginning of it, but in fact, uh, now uh, in the week that has uh, passed since the original protests, uh, there have been uh, a number of people that have joined for other. At 5 p.m. in the evening on the streets of Paris, just down the road from uh, the Arc de Triomphe, uh, massive. Are out complaining about rising gas prices. The government there instituting a new tax, especially on diesel fuel. Coming on January 1st, these yellow jackets, those are the protesters there. You can see them lobbing rocks and such. Violence has erupted again amid protests in France against fuel taxes and the government's economic agenda. Thousands have converged on the famed Champs-Élysées. Police deployed tear gas and water cannon. The demonstrators who call themselves the yellow jackets clashed with demonstrators in France on Saturday as anger continues to grow over the country's rising fuel taxes. Thousands across France are also protesting President Emmanuel Macron's administration. Macron has defended the fuel tax, saying they're necessary to wean the country.